another episode of the Pierce Brothers, everybody. Today we're going to be talking about the uh, Tokarev TT33 pistol. This one's kind of cool. It's a uh, World War II production gun. You can see the date on this side, 1940. It's all matching. Um, kind of comes with the rig. Um, so this is the holster it came with. Has a spot for an extra magazine and cleaning rod. Uh, these were uh, pretty cool pistols. They were used by the Russians from the 30s up until the 50s when they replaced it with the Makarov pistol. Uh, they're also made in China, Romania, Yugoslavia, and Poland. Um, it's got an eight, eight shot magazine. Shoots the 762 by 25 Tokarev cartridge, which is a, uh, let me set that down. It's a bottleneck. It's, this uh, is PPU ammo, it's an 85 grain bullet. They say going around 1720 at the muzzle. So lightweight bullet going pretty fast. So let's go put a couple mags to it. to still target about 50 yards or so away so it's kind of windy and it's uh, a little hard to keep steady here some hits, but the sights are kind of small and hard to see on this thing, but... Okay, so, so yeah, that's the Tokarev. They're really cool guns, they're very basic. So you basically just have a slide release there. There's no safety, the safety is actually the half cock. And that locks up the slide and trigger. I would not carry it that way, but if you're shooting and had to put your gun away, you could just drop it to half cock without having to clear it. Okay guys, so you saw the shooting with this. Um, that was at 50 yards, uh, a still going at 50 yards. I've only gone about 60 rounds now through Tokara pistols total, so um, still kind of getting used to the gun. I was hitting pretty good with it towards the end of the, the mags. Um, trigger pull on these, um, you got a little bit of take up, hits a wall, and then it breaks. Pretty crisp, but a little heavy. Um, uh, these are still fairly affordable guns, uh, especially the post-war ones, Romanian and Polish, Chinese ones are still... Uh, pretty readily available and uh, you can pick them up fairly inexpensive so if you're looking for one I'd highly recommend you go pick one of those up they're good shooters um, simple very simple design reliable robust they're still interesting fact they're still heavily used in the current Ukraine Russia war uh, by both sides I know Ukraine's actually put out some training videos on these as well um, so yeah I would highly highly recommend the pistols um, really cool um, piece of history. So thank you for watching this episode of the Pierce Brothers. Um, be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, and we will see you guys later.